Hey guys and welcome back to the channel for a bit of an unplanned impromptu unboxing today. As I'm recently back from a conference trip in America um, and somehow see myself back here at this nice TSO here from New York. Um, hashtag watch attic life right. <laughs> uh, anyway there's a little bit of a story of how I ended up with it. Um, so me and a friend we were down at Wall Street checking out the charging bull. Um, got caught in a massive snowstorm and ended up finding a TSO boutique to seek refuge in for a bit. Um, we ended up browsing the shop a while and we both ended up getting watches, so yeah, let's get straight into the unboxing of the piece. Um, so yeah, by no means is it you know, a super expensive watch, um, but yeah, it comes in this really, really nice wooden Tiso box and at the back has this kind of cool bookcase um, design and actually comes with a little book, a story of the watch company, Tiso. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at the watch itself. It is the T-Sport PRS200 Swiss Quartz Chronograph you can get some focus actioning happening boom right there um, <clears throat> so it's a stainless steel PVD dial uh, watch so physical vapor deposition um, as you can see you've got the nice um, black with the uh, contrasting red if we can get some focus happening Oh, don't fail me now. Sorry about that guys, now uh, we're back in action again. So this, as I was saying, this is the first black dial watch I have in the collection. Um, and yeah, I really like the kind of bright um, red contrasting colour that it has. It really makes the watch pop. Um, so the watch itself has a sapphire crystal on the top actually. And also a, a 60 click rotating bezel. It has a nice sturdy mechanism. Um, so while this is a racing chronograph, um, I think it is a bit dive inspired. Um, it's also 200 meter water resistant. Boom, got it. <laughs> um, so it's a three, has three subdial uh, chronograph. And also this version of the watch is the uh, textured dial version as they call it. Um, so if I can get some zoom action happening, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but that outer bezel and the inner rings of the three subdials actually have a nice guilloche pattern happening um, which I thought was yeah really nice subtle design hints um, on the watch itself um, so let's zoom out again um, yeah overall the watch is really really well made I think um, if you have a look on the side got the nice Tiso T stamp on the, uh, the crown and that kind of nice uh, matte and <clears throat> matte versus polished um, look um, on the side of the case uh, back just enclosed um, case back and the bracelet itself or the band should I say that this one's come on is the uh, contrasting red stitching on the matte black leather which actually looks kind of good with the face um, but for me I don't really find to be that comfortable so I'm probably going to switch it out to probably like a black um, NATO strap or just get a kind of an, a carbon fiber or perforated um, buckle strap, um, which I'll put on later. But yeah, overall I'm really happy with the uh, the piece. It's like a little souvenir of my trip. Um, my first Swiss model as well. Um, so, but so far, yeah, really liking Tiso and reading about the history. Um, yeah, so I'll hit you guys with some uh, wrist shots in a second. And yeah, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like um, and a comment. Um, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe and uh, share the videos if you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys with a full review of the watch um, after the Tissot's had a bit more wrist time. Um, so I'll probably be wearing this more as a casual watch. Um, it's the summertime now in Australia, so perfect timing. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I'll hit you guys uh, with those then. Um, but for now, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye YouTube.